So I, I would like to speak actually about a number of the amendments. Um, first of all, I strongly support um, Amendment 36, calling on the government to publish a list of the laws affected by these moves, uh, by the bill, sorry. And I also uh, wish to offer my support to Amendments 18 and 19, the ones that give more time for proper debate and also protecting workers' rights. And indeed, uh, Amendments 21 and 22 on the environment and a number of other amendments mentioned by the opposition front bench. Um, Mr Deputy Speaker, this is clearly a very important bill covering a large number of laws across a wide range of policy areas, um, obviously including protecting workers' rights, protecting the environment and indeed consumer protections. As the Minister herself said earlier, this bill's, bill deals with laws covering around 300 different policy areas across government. I followed her speech with great interest and um, very carefully, and I, I did notice that she wasn't actually able to say how many pieces of law the bill affects, which I think is highly important for the, the debate today. Um, yet the government plans to remove all this EU law, even though it doesn't fully understand the scope of, of the, or the full list of laws, by the end of this year. Mr Deputy Speaker, the government is proposing enormous changes, yet it doesn't even know the full scale of the change that's yeah. involved. And as we've heard, the Law Society described the government's approach as having a devastating approach on legal certainty. To make matters worse, the government plans to give itself sweeping powers to push through these changes. Um, as a number of other speakers have alluded to earlier, and ministers uh, will indeed be given the power to use the negative SI procedure to address these very important and controversial issues. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, this means that workers' rights, environmental protections and consumer rights could all be changed with very little or indeed barely any scrutiny. So even at this late stage, I would ask the government to reconsider what is quite clearly a reckless approach. And I hope the Minister will have time indeed to respond to, to the, the concerns raised and that she will listen and take the views back from across the, the House to her ministerial colleagues.